Hi, I'm Karen Cage. The Board of Governors of RollCop asked that we put together a packet of information for brokers and agents outlining copyright best practices for MLS data. I'd like to introduce to you RollCop's legal counsel, Brian O'Keefe. Good morning, Hello, Karen. Good morning, everyone. Brian is with the firm of Lippitt O'Keefe and Gornbein, and he's going to answer some questions for us this morning on this important subject. So, Brian, why is it important to make sure that the proper protections are in place for the data, the photos, and the images? Well, it's important to protect the rightful owners of that information and to prevent unauthorized use of the information by third parties. So, if the seller of a home that I'm listing, if I'm an agent, and I'm putting that listing in the MLS, and they provide me with a photo, why would I need them to assign the rights to that photo since it's their home? Well, the homeowner owns that photo, owns the rights in that photo, and they should assign those rights to the agents and brokers in order to provide the agents and brokers with the rights to use those images. Also, later, they may have some claims of privacy, and to prevent um, agents and brokers from getting into trouble on privacy claims, we would like an assignment of the uh, photos. So what if I hire a photographer to take the photos? Who owns those images? In those situations, the photographer owns the images to start. And again, the photographer should assign or license to the agents and brokers the rights to use those photos. So once all of that is in place and the agent or the broker has received the proper protections, does real company need the same in, uh, for the data and the photos? Yes, we're asking that the agents and brokers assign that assign the rights and that the data and photos to RealComp so that RealComp can use its uh, power in the marketplace to protect those rights uh, in, in the data and photos against third-party uh, violators. And these protections would pertain to the images, virtual tours, and the data as well, is that correct? Yes, the images and virtual tours for sure. Uh, data, the simple measurements and, and uh, other simple uh, facts about the home cannot be protected, but descriptions of the home can be protected, and we we're asking that there be a copyright assignment in, those, uh, in that information as well. Well, we've heard two different terms. We've heard assignment and we've heard license. What's the difference between the two? A license gives RealComp a limited right to use the information, and in that situation, RealComp would not be able to enforce uh, the uh, violation of, of those rights by third parties. In an assignment situation, RealComp receives all of the rights of the original owner and can take action against violators in, uh, in those situations. And so what does RealComp do today to protect the, the rights of those? Today and historically, RealComp has copywritten all of the compilation of the, of the data, and RealComp has protected it on behalf of itself and its owners. The problem with that situation is that RealComp does not have the right to pursue third-party violators if individual parts of the compilation are taken. By way of the current methodology that we're setting up, we're going to close that gap and allow RealComp to enforce its rights against violation, violations of particular pieces of the data, which is becoming more and more prevalent. Well, this is a lot of good information. We've put together, as we said, a packet of data for you that includes some explanations, some forms you can use, and that information will be made available on RealComp's corporate site. So watch for that to be coming in the next few days. Thank you, Brian. That's Thank a you, lot Karen. of good information. Thank you. Thank